over 250,000 players have stopped playing CS2 within the past four weeks, even though Valve added five new maps and even improved the ranking system. Were these legit players or was it just some bots who are no longer farming in Counter-Strike? We did just get a tiny update to the game on July 2nd with no major changes other than a few map fixes, but it was the 60th update so far this year to CS2, which is already more updates than all of 2022. Of course, a lot of these 60 updates are just one or two lines in the patch notes, but each of them seems to be helping out the game in their own ways. Within these 60 updates, there were five of them which Valve thought were big enough to come with their own blog post. These seem to be spread out around each month. At the moment, if we continue on this track and the update schedule doesn't change, it will be the most updated year for Counter-Strike. This July 2nd update didn't just mark 60 updates this year for CS2, but July 2nd is also recognized as the middle of the calendar year, seeing as it's the 183rd day, which if Valve continues this trend up until the end of the year, we could see somewhere around 120 updates. This is obviously just going by what has happened within the first half. So give or take a few updates, regardless it seems like this year will be the most updated for Counter-Strike, if not it will be in the top 2 or 3. Now even though we're getting all these updates, the SteamDB player count has dropped by over 250,000 players within one month. Now are these bots or are these legit players is the real question. On May 29th to the 30th, we saw a ban wave to case farming bots, which banned thousands of them, and stopped many from working for days until they were fixed. But the player count didn't really seem affected during that time period. The bots eventually found a way around back, but now, weeks later, the player count is taking big hits, dropping hundreds of thousands. I checked up on the biggest providers and they're all still up, but it seems like farming cases has been getting a little bit less profitable. For example, you look at a case farming chart which combines all drops, the chances to get them, and their current value on the market, you notice it has just been dropping since February after the kilowatt case released and spiked everything up. And well to no surprise, around that same time right before the case dropped, the player count was also at a bit of a low around 1 million. But then within weeks after the case release, rose to the 1.5 million which we were at for the past few months. So as the case drop price returns to where they were at before the kilowatt case released, it seems like the player count is as well. Now correlation isn't causation and obviously this isn't the only reason. I'm sure some can bring up a bunch of others like players are getting tired of waiting for a big update to let's say back in the anti-cheat so they moved on to a different game as the steam sale is active right now. It's also summer for many so maybe they're just going outside and enjoying the sun. I'm sure there's a bunch of legit reasons you can say which is lowering the player count but one of them is definitely the bots which rose the player count by hundreds of thousands a few months ago and are now slowly moving on. Or maybe it really is over 250,000 legit players who are getting tired of Vogue and their 60 updates so far this year. It for sure just seems like it's a mix of a few things, but depending on how far back you look at the numbers, well, they are still up. Now, in one of the recent updates, they mentioned they overhauled the competitive ranking experience, and since players started getting placed in their correct ranks, rather than everyone just being silver. We actually get to see the difference from this update when you look at the Leadify stats for June. For example, this is the ranking spread for June before the update, well this is the ranks after the update, where it looks a lot better and it's not just everyone pushed towards the bottom. There's now actual players who are global elite and overall it looks like a normal spread. This is obviously a great improvement, of course some will say well it should have just been like this since the start of CS2 but at least we have a fix now. If you're wondering about Premiere, not really much happened there. Saying that though, there is a bunch of reports from players who are claiming they're actually ranking up and gaining ELO after recent updates, like the trust factor. Of course, this could just be a placebo and very dependent on the situation, but it seems like players who got put in green trust lobbies and maybe before were running into cheaters are able to get back their deserved ranks. I have seen others say pretty much the exact opposite, that they're now just running into cheaters, but obviously we can see from the recent update, Bove is making changes to matchmaking, and this might be why season 2 hasn't came just yet as they still want to perfect Premiere. 
The last big update came with changes to competitive matchmaking, so maybe Premiere is next. As well, back to the Leadify data, not really much has changed since May in terms of looking at the cheaters. The top ranks are still infected. The SSG is the most used weapon above 25k elo, and once players hit around 17 to 18k, they begin to use less and less utility, while on face it, you can see that the higher the rank, the more utility that gets thrown. The one thing since the recent update almost every player can agree on is that their wait times have increased. It seems like Valve is putting more of a focus on the players they match you with. As before, you were waiting maybe around 1-2 to two minutes, but now players are saying it's taking 3, 4, 5, even 10 minutes just to get into a game. Even though Valve has been pushing out these updates trying to improve CS2, it seems like there is less players on Counter-Strike. Was it just bots leaving until the next case comes out? Or are more and more players taking a step back until we get something bigger? Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all CS2 news and be updated on what Valve has next.